what's up guys it's the beautiful black queen that everybody love hopefully you guys are having an awesome amazing prosperous day welcome back my lavish dolls if this is not your first time i love you guys so very much if this is your first time then definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos on hair tutorials makeup uh different hacks tricks and tips that i give out on each video and i do drop videos each week so definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this one so without further ado we're gonna jump right into this video if you cannot tell this title is me recreating an instagram photo that i actually see and i really like the look so i decided to share it with you guys so if you would like to see how i achieve this look then definitely stay tuned until the end of the video also, I ask that you watch the video all the way until the end because your girl will be dropping makeup tip of the day. You got Okay guys, as you can see, I am using my crayon case eye glue and that's just to keep the shadows in place um, so that they do not shift and move. Now I'm going in with my HD concealer just to apply that all over my lid so that I can pick up the highest pigmentation from the shadows. Now it's time for me to go in with one of my favorite palettes and it's the um, Morphe James Charles palette. And I'm gonna pick up that fuchsia color and I'm gonna pop that on the lid of my eye. Normally when I'm applying my shadows, if it's a cut crease or something, I normally do not go in with my lid first. But like I said, because it's not a cut crease, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the shadows to my lid. So what you see me doing here, I'm just intensifying that fuchsia color on my lids because I really want it to be bold and I really want it to pop. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just packing that color on so that it can be an intensified look. As you can see, I have that fuchsia color as intense as I want, and I'm going in that same palette, and I'm picking up an orange color um, and placing that directly on top of that fuchsia. Um, and I'm also going inside of the fuchsia just a little bit because I want to fuse those two colors together, and it's going to help better in the blending process. Now I'm taking my blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the corners of the orange color that I placed down because you don't want any harsh lines, any lines of demarcation. The name of the game is blending, blending, and blending some more. So keep blending, ladies. So what I'm doing here, I'm just laying some more of that fuchsia color because sometimes you can lose the pigmentation when you're blending, but it's okay. Just go in and lay some more shadows and keep blending. <laughs> Now I'm laying down my brow bone color and blending some more of that orange out. Um, yeah, like I said, just keep blending. And as you can see, I'm just going in and meshing everything together so that it can be a perfect blend. Mm -hmm. 
in this moment i decided to intensify that orange a little bit more so i went in and started laying down a red pigment out of the same palette like i say everything is coming out of the same palette and i decided to lay down some red and some more orange because i wanted to just intensify um the orange just a bit So as you can see, I'm going in and I'm just laying down some gold highlight in the inner tear ducts just to give it a pop because that's exactly what she did in her photo. Mine's wasn't as intense as hers. I really wish I knew exactly what she used because it was so bomb and so pigmented. But I tried to get this look as close as I possibly could with the products that I had. Okay, now it's time for the wing liner. And I honestly love this part because I just honestly feel like the wing liner just really makes the eyes pop a little bit more. And yeah, so I just love a wing liner. And me, I just love a dramatic wing liner. So I always take my wing a little bit further. Um, so if you guys would like to know how to achieve a wing liner, if you can't see exactly what I'm doing here, then just let me know in the comment section below. As you saw previously, I was just laying down some eyeliner just to make my eyes pop. Now I'm just going in with a black shadow just to seal that liner that I actually put on my eyes. And then I'm getting ready to go in with a fuchsia color because I just kind of want to make the under eye pop even more according to her photo. So yeah. So now it's time for me to do my lips and I'm just going in with a regular brown pencil from the beauty supply store. I think it was 99 cent or something like that. And I'm just going to line my lips. And once I line my lips, then I'm just going to pop in this beautiful color by Crocs Cosmetics. Oh my God, it is so bomb.com. It's a matte uh, finish lipstick and I absolutely love it. All right, my lavish dolls, this is the final, final look. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I tried to get as close as possible to the photo with the items that I have. So you guys let me know how you think I did in the comment box below. Yeah, and until next time, I love you guys so much. And yeah, stay tuned to the makeup tip of the day. I'm out.
Welcome to Makeup Tip of the Day. Thank you for watching until the end of this video so that you can get your Makeup Tip of the Day. So, have you ever, ever, ever wanted your shadows to pop? Anytime you put your shadows on, it just kind of seemed a little dull and you just kind of wanted to give it that vibrancy. So, your girl is going to show you exactly how to do that right now. What you want to do... Um, say, for instance, I popped this right into the my tear ducts and I was able to give it that vibrancy and I was able to give it that pop. So what you want to do, you want to take your brush, whatever brush that you use to uh, put your shadows on. You always want to take some spray. It could be water. It could be setting spray. It could be whatever. Take it, spray your brush, take whatever makeup you would like to apply your shadow you would like to apply and pop it in that area it's gonna really uh pick up that pigmentation as you guys can see it intensified that look as you can see it really intensified the inner tear ducts and it's really gonna make your makeup pop at the end of the day so if you want your shadows to pop, like I said, you can always go in, spray your brush with whatever product. It could be water. It could be your setting spray, whatever. Go ahead and spray that brush and pop that shadow on. I'm telling you, it's going to pop and it's going to make everything stand out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this makeup tip of the day. And yeah, if you have not, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I love you guys so much.